Hello guys, it's SharkHunter21. We are back into it with D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die. I think I said all that right. Alright, so when we left off, uh, I was actually in David's apartment, but I'm back in the airplane because now I know where the hell her thing is. It's right there. Get that shit. Get the equipment manual. Now, her name, is it Olivia? Yeah, Olivia's gonna love us now. I really need to find it. Well, got good news for you. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem, baby. I found it on one of the seats. Maybe a kid was playing with it? I just need to be more attentive. No problem, I assure you. But why do you even need the manual? It's a bit late once you're on board. Yes, well, I'm new to this job. Are you? New enough to need a manual. Alright. Got money. Thank you, honey. Anyway, what was it you needed the manual for? I'm afraid I can't tell. What? And whatever it is, is it something you can do with your bare hands? Oh. That's right. I also need the tools, oh. but I can't seem to find that either. Of course. She isn't asking outright, and yet she's quite skillfully making requests of me. No problem. I can play along a little longer. All right, fine. I'll find your damn toolbox too. Need to make repairs or something? What the hell's going on? I think it's up in. Yep, there it is. I can see it right now. Actually, it's twinkling. Wait. The door is wobbling, but the plane still flies fine. <laughs> These machines are really built safe. Buster. No. Maybe it's trying to give me that hint of what to do. I know what to do, though. Alright, got the toolbox. Just want to finish this little stuff up first. I really need to. I got some more good news for you. Got you the goods. I didn't ask for your help. Well, you got it. Huh? I also don't like the way you said that. You sound like a drug dealer. Old habits. <laughs> More money! Yeah! I brought you exactly what you needed. Doesn't that warrant a thank you? You think? Like I said, I didn't ask for your help. <sighs> I still don't have everything I need, either. I'll bet that attitude of yours makes you lots of friends. That has nothing to do with you, sir. <sighs> Damn. So come on, what else do you need? What? You'll find it for me? I've started, so I'll finish. It looks like you have your hands full, too. Okay. I'd like a blanket. The cabin does get chilly. Damn, girl. Yeah, a lot of requests of us, don't you? You'll find it in a bag with the tag TFI B0065. A blanket with a tag on it? I think she's giving herself away. I'll play along a little longer. Okay. Ooh, can I ask you about this? Do you have difficulty remembering people's faces? No. Remembering faces, names, are two things that I'm normally good at. But I didn't remember you. Don't worry about it. I have one of those faces. All right. So tell me, is the flight going well? Why do you ask, sir? I don't mean anything by it. You don't? What? It certainly sounds like there's something specific you want. Just a question. Just like you said. No deep meaning. Hmm. Ha. It's cloudy, but everything is fine. There's no need to worry, sir. Please just return to your seat. Who the thought it'd be cloudy up in the air as a plane's flying? Weird. Now, as for the blanket, I don't know. Seeing that the damn toolbox was up there, that, that was nothing short of luck. Let's see. You got anything to say there, buddy? I want to talk to him. No nah. Same old. You have a blanket? Ooh, hello. 
No, no, I didn't want that. Shit. I can push this. I don't want you. Fuck. I forget what the push button is. Is it X? Okay, it's X. My turn, asshole. There we go. I had to do it. There was a pillow. Had to be done. The door is wobbling, but the plane. I know, I know, game, I know. I want to look for this blanket first. So that my lady interest might just come around. Maybe. Although I get a good feeling it's probably up where that dude's at. You got a blanket? You. This is the second time. <gasps> I know. Nah, no, shit, nothing. Never mind. Uh, no, I don't think we're gonna find a blanket there. Let's see. How you doing there, buddy? You see a blanket around here? A nice blanket. Hmm. Shit. Oh, hey! Shit. That fucking works, don't it? Oh. Ah, the luggage is hitting it. That's what's making the window squeak. Oh. Gonna freak out or no? Not yet. The game is like really hard pushing for me to go ahead and do that. I will in just a moment. If the, if the game will chill the fuck out. This blanket is heavy. Really heavy. What's in it? That's no concern of yours. I didn't take a look. Why so specific about the tag then? One blanket is like all the others. Why did you need a specific number? <sighs> I cannot answer that, sir. You can't? Just who are you? A flight attendant on AG Flight 117 to Boston. And who may you be? A passenger on AG Flight 117 to Boston. Hmm. Huh. You remember what I first called Stowaway? Stowaway, right? I hope, for your sake, that isn't the case, Mr. Passenger. Damn, she is aggressive. Shit. Really aggressive. Alright. Olivia Jones. She definitely knows something. I just hope she doesn't get in the way of my search for... <laughs> if she does, that'll mean a drastic change in our relationship. Just smooch her. Can I give you one piece of advice? What is it, sir? If you want to look like a member of the cabin crew, try to smile a little more. You're always so on guard. One might mistake you for undercover FBI. <laughs> what does that mean? That you've got a face which is easy to read. Who are you? Really? Batman. Just a curious passenger. Batman. I'm sorry, sir. I really do have to get back to work. Uh huh. Sure. Sorry to get in your way. <laughs> All right. Well, so that's about it. So let's go ahead and do what the game is losing its fucking mind over. The door is. This door makes the window creak. Can use this to make that nervous wreck go into overdrive. Okay. Then just push it. Yep. This is not acceptable. Here we go. This is no, I will not. I can't take any more of this. You've Every heard it before, you know. Undergoes just... more than one hundred rigorous checks before. What? Are you saying these window noises are all in my head? Are you dumb? <coughs> I thought you were a nice gentleman. Madam, you think I I'm just some you, complainer, some of the... lawsuit seeker? Do you? This is completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. <laughs> Show me your name tag. Show it to me. Employee number D-3582. I burnt it into my forebrain. Once I'm home, yes, I am going to sue you. I have never been oh. mad in my life. 
Nope. Goes for the inhaler. With the red mist. As you wish, madam. However, perhaps if we change your any way I can talk to your manager? I'm sure the sound of windows will not annoy you in every business class. The seats are very fluffy, too. Business? That's a class? It is, madam. I could show you to your seat. One where I can't hear the windows. No speaking. nasty window noises in business. <laughs> well, I... If you'll just allow me to explain the procedure for your... I love how people... Suppose. ...freak out and get rewarded for it sometimes. <laughs> Hello! Hi! How you doing? Damn, he's tall. <gasps> Surgery mask, white schmock, and I couldn't get the last one. Oh, 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 damn. What the fuck? I don't know. You tell me, Harry Potter. Stainless steel, well polished. The instant I saw that big man, Sepatero, forehead started to throb. It's never happened before. What's going on? You've met Voldemort. What do you think? Duh. Huh? Wait, I can push this. Fuck that cheap shit. Fuck that polyester. Can I talk to you now? Oh shit, I can. How's security for the transport? Nice and tight? You trying to say something? Maybe. I'm worried that you might let this guy just slip away from you. Even up here, it might happen. Mind your own business, boy. What, you call me boy? What about security in the airport, then? Security at Logan Airport is tighter than Fort Knox. It's not enough. No need for you to worry about anything. Sure about that? If possible, I'd really like to have a word with him. The hell you will. Oh. I'll leave you alone. Once I've got what I want from him. Really, I will. I don't care a rat's ass about what you need or what you'll do for me. Oh, I'll polish your head. How about that? You can use a good wax. Marshal, I want to ask you something. I've got nothing to say to a man who abandoned his duty. What? Abandoned? Am I wrong? You quit the force, right? How do you know that? <laughs> I'm nothing like you. I'd never run from anything. I'd pursue my targets to the end of the earth. Never give up. I haven't given up. There are some cases they can't be solved from inside the machine. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd agree with that. If, oh, let's say the President of the United States were here, well, uh, then I'd hear you out. See, I'm a real patient. <gasps> I'd be respectful in front of the president. He plays Metal Gear. Hmm. I don't see him on board. So get lost. God damn you. You think you can get rid of me? Okay. I'll play your game. I'll find the president and stick him right in your arrogant face. Yep. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find the fucking president on this plane, god damn it. Where's the president? Who's got the president? It's actually kind of an ironic thing as to what it actually is. Damn. It's too much shit. Shit. Is it this? No. Let's see. Where, oh, where, oh, where is the fucking president? Nope. Eh, eh, eh. Fuck. I'll find the present, goddammit. It's not like Jack Bauer. Hey, Q. 
get. Alright, hopefully this doesn't activate the talk. Nope, okay. Uh, seat pitch, 110 centimeters, almost normal. Business seat. What's this te teddy bear? National flag necktie, limited edition for my hotel. 59 or 55 dollars keeps flashing. What a ripoff. Yeah, it's a expense fast bear, man. I'll pick the fuck out of this bear! Yeah! That's one fashionable bear. Not bad for a gift from Washington, D.C. Is the bear the president? Maybe. Anything here? Damn. Ah, oh, well. You're not the president. I don't think you are. Um, synthetic leather. Smells like gum. I mean, if we didn't have assholes putting their gum all over shit. Dirty table. Oily and sticky. Ew. Eating snacks. It's pretty gross, actually. There's nothing. Damn. Well, there's a magazine. Let's see. Fashion magazine, special designers, interviews. All wrinkled. Been read a lot? Oh, hey, it's that guy. Uh, let's see. Designer interview, cutting edge and indiv individualistic designers, Duncan and Suki. Today we are talking with designer Duncan, a man certainly possessed of a very unique vision with a passion for retro and military fashion. According to Duncan, the trend for this summer is retro and military. Of course, some might be thinking that retro means dated and that military has nothing to do with fashion. Duncan challenges such people to take this opportunity to try retro and military. The key fashion item that he currently recommends is a mesh tank top, as it is so easy to match with or add your own accent to. It's perfect for people with no confidence in their fashion. I hope you'll give retro and military a chance this summer. <laughs> okay. I uh, don't know about that personally, but... Whatever. Oh wait, can I open that? Hey, I can. Luggage drag. Right. Nothing suspicious. Suspicious. You don't know that. Hey! Hmm. What evil might I find here? Wait, what's this? <gasps> Pretzels! Give me that! What do we have here? What, what is this? Monument? I got a George Washington doll. Oh, trust the mind. Right, we'll talk to them. Hey, hello. Silver credit. It has a beautiful shine. Peanuts. Butter salt flavor. What's this? Sure. Uh, let's see. Extinguisher full has been moved. Inspection? A prank? We're gonna fucking use it. We're gonna spray down people. Take this! Yeah? Oh. It's hardly the time to be playing like this. Well, maybe I'm not playing. Maybe I actually wanted to fucking hit people with the extinguisher shit. Huh? Where's, where's the cursor? Oh, here it is. Alright. Let's jump up there towards him. Hey, guess what? I got the president. Right in my pocket. Ta -da. I've got someone here who wants to talk to you. Huh? Wanna give him a hug? I can't believe you. <laughs> nice money. Ready to hear me out now? <laughs> Maybe if I was five, childish trick. It counts. You're looking at the first president of the United States. <laughs> File on you was right on the money. What did you say? Former number two in the BPD drug control unit. Oh. Lost your wife in a real blood related case two years ago. Careful. <laughs> Quit the force as a result. Currently specializes in messing up crime scenes with cheap parlor tricks. A charlatan who thinks he's still a real detective. That's about the short of it. I'm no charlatan. Prove it. Uh. Okay. I'll guess the NHL scores from tonight's game if you like. Interesting. Then how about this? 
Bring me a copy of today's Boston Herald. Today's edition should be going out on a newsstand right about now. Of course, we aren't even in Boston yet. Oh, and we're on a plane as well. He thinks he has us. Now run along and leave me alone. You don't have me yet, sir. A change of tactic, is it? Seemingly impossible, perhaps. But not for me, Marshal. After all, this whole place is just the past for me. The past to which I can come back whenever I want. Uh-huh. What happens if your witness is abducted before arriving at the airport? Are you soft in the head, son? Oh, he's got a bullet in there. How's anyone gonna take him from an aircraft mid-flight? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. How would you do it? I wouldn't. Too much hassle. If you just want to shut someone up, all it takes is a bullet. Whoa. Damn, buddy. Why are you investigating real blood? That's my job. Nothing more, nothing less than that. It looks like a lot more to me. Whatever it looks like, it's nothing to do with you. All right, well, shit. Grumpy old bastard, I'll be right back. Is this what I want to do? Oh, yeah, it is. In the dive. Because we're going to go get that fucking paper. And prove that, the asshole, I'm not a charlatan. I am a genuine magician. I mean, look at my tie. Does that not read magician? Okay, there we go. That was stupid props going. Yay. Uh, I do hope the season two for this does actually come out. There's been talk about it. God, do I really want it to be a reality. <gasps> now. Where... I think it's somewhere in the box that uh, Kaysen's got. I think. Let me see here. Kaysen? Well, let's start talking to him. What's up, David? Something you needed to ask? Uh, let's not eat yet. I'm gonna try to find the thing first. Hold on. Just so I can use up all my stamina shit. Let's see. I'm looking for a shiny thing. Shiny thing? A shiny thing. Shit. Hmm. Alright. Nothing there. Squirrel again. Oh, squirrel. Hello. Ghost envelope. Potato chips! Yes! Fuck you, squirrel. Uh, I don't know. Is this anything? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Definitely read that one. How about this? <gasps> hey, uh, no. I've, no, no, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done them yet. Hold on. Cool. What we got? Those who adapt to change prosper. Wait, I don't know what his little... Oh, was. That's, it's true. It's a good philosophy, really. Adapt. It's still today until you go to bed. What? No? I mean, in the psychology, psychology stance, maybe? I don't know. People have the ability to gradually grow to like others. They've got the ability doesn't mean everyone wants to do it. Some people just want to be assholes. Some people are just assholes. That can't be helped. Right, let's just get on by. 
Where the hell would that shit be, actually? Hmm. Because I know it's in the present, for sure. Huh. Alright, well, let's check in here, then. Oh. Oh. Yes. Got it. Alright, so now we can... Let's eat with Teddy, and, um... Then we'll jump back. Then I think we'll... Oh, no, I've got Duncan I gotta talk to, actually. Shit. Where the hell are you... Hold still, Kaysen. All right, buddy. What's up, David? I. Something you needed to ask? Can we eat? <gasps> oh, I can pick. I uh, have. I don't know. Uh, steak, I guess. Okay, good. Let's eat that. I don't know if I've. I think I did the lobster one. Guess we'll find out. God, that looks delicious. And why are you... found a floater in the Mystic River. Ah, perfect conversation for the dinner table. Perfectly perfect, huh? Ah, two detectives at the table, one... Prize. What is he doing? Sounds like the start of a bad joke. Hm. An old couple living along Shore Drive found the body. They were out power walking and got a nasty... Dude. Damn. Please, the joke goes on. It's a lot of steak. Humor me, you sourpuss. So let's call the corpse in the river Adam, our bitch. Uh huh. And we'll call our suspect Billy. He just turned himself in today. Okay. And. Mm. Our suspect, Billy, also has a younger sister who was killed recently. Pretty morbid for a quiz show. She's our second big then, okay? Carol. The investigation revealed that, apparently, Billy learned Adam had killed Carol. My God! And so killed him in revenge. Then tossed his body in the river. But something just doesn't quite add up. Carol's body was fished out of the river, too? Yep, that's right. Suspect Billy says he wanted to give him the same treatment as he gave his sis. <laughs> Maybe Billy killed them both. Although that doesn't add up either, does it? There's no reason he would confess to just killing Adam in that case. That's where I got stumped, too. Well, Adam and Carol were probably lovers. Billy, responsible for his sister, was against the relationship. So he tossed them both in the Mystic River. Were they wearing matching rings? Any jewelry? Indeed they were, David. They had rings on that the witnesses saw them buying from a street store. <sighs> Love blinds people to those around them. It was the same with <laughs> little Peggy. So why'd Billy lie, huh? It's no great chase. He wanted to get between them, even if the only way was as victim and killer. Mm -hmm. Loneliness can really work a man over. Yep. I'll let the boys in homicide know tomorrow. And I'll put this one on your tab, Teddy. God, that steak looks delicious. Cool. Alright, well, since we're back to full, uh, actually, you know, I can just easily... Do this. And this. And resume. And bam. Actually, I wonder where we're gonna pop up, because at this point, Zapatero's in the bathroom, unless we come out of the other bathroom. I, I'm not sure. Maybe. Huh. Well, one more another we're gonna see. Alright. Guess what, asshole, I'm back.